Lupe and Nidek Minster welcomes you to this broadcast of high school regional semifinal volleyball tournament. We are at the Thunderdome of Northmont High School where the St. Henry Redskins will take on the Jackson Center Tigers. Tonight's game being brought to you by the following sponsors. Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winners Meats, Sydney Allglaze Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA, and NK Telco bringing you regional volleyball tournament action between St. Henry and Jackson Center. I'm Dave Helm Center alongside me, Brandon Coverman for regional tournament play. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Jackson Center 21 and five overall and St. Henry 19 and six overall ready to do battle. St. Henry has won seven straight contests and come off a solid district performance with wins over Marion Local and Fort Recovery. And Brandon St. Henry has lots of tournament experience in their program's history. St. Henry, a very hungry team here, Dave. Back here, uh, you really look, 14 trips to the state tournament. They're gonna try to make it 15 if they can win back-to-back -back games here this weekend over Shelby County opponents. Uh, they have seven state titles, haven't won one since 2011. They were at the state tournament in 2015, which is the last time they were also at the regionals. That year they went 29-1 and one, lost in the state championship game. But six-year head coach Trisha Rosenbeck, this is her first time in the regional. The last time the Redskins were in the regional, New Bremen coach Diana Kramer was in her last season at her alma mater, alma mater of St. Henry. Now Trisha Rosenbeck leading her alma mater, and they have a very good team. You look up over the course of this team led by Brianna Seifring and Chloe Gells. Uh, they've done really nice too by losing Mia Niekamp to a torn ACL early on in the season. This team has come along very nice. And Jackson Center 11 straight wins also hitting their peak here in the regionals under the guidance of veteran coach Kim Metz at 34 seasons at the helm of the Tigers. And she is the dean of Shelby County Volleyball. The one consistent Kim Metz just two state championships back to back 2015 2016 with some phenomenal teams that she had there. Most recently, they have been in the regionals since 2018. They had some earlier exits than they anticipated, 2019, 2020, but they're back in a familiar spot of the regionals there. They had for a while going there. I believe they won nine districts in a row, but they're back in familiar territory here in the regional tournament here. Kim Metz, phenomenal coach. They're led by a couple of great players and first team all Shelby County, uh, Sarah Clark and Shia Akers, and also defensive specialist Ava Winter. Some phenomenal players here and it should be a good one. Well, when you look at these two teams, Jackson Center and St. Henry, as you mentioned, there's a lot of talented players on the floor here tonight. Yeah, very talented players here on the floor and it's gonna be a battle of wits. It's, it's really gonna get really gritty. Who does the little things the best? And you know, both these teams haven't had regional ex players with regional experience, maybe Jackson Center with some freshmen, but a new stage for both these guys. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. Here at Northmont, the crowd here at the Thunderdome will rise to their feet as we'll have the playing of the national anthem here on NK Telco Sports. <laughs> Corporation, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road Class A CDL driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package as an equal opportunity employer and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopecom careers. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank. 
making your life a little easier. Goodyear Shoe Service. Back here at the Thunderdome of Northmont High School, St. Henry and Jackson Center just about to do battle as the introduction of the starting lineups and pregame activities. Of course, Brandon, everybody's curious. The winner of tonight's contest will move on and play the winner of Rushi and Fort Lormy on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Lots of exciting volleyball in this region. Yeah, and you get a great you get a great first game and you get a great nightcap. That's not always guaranteed in the regional tournament. And it's, it's two great uh, ball clubs going here. Four great volleyball teams with great volleyball tradition and really in recent memory. Uh, a couple of these schools are very common. Come down to Northmont with Jackson Center, Rushi, Port Army. St. Henry generally been going north, so them come south down here to Northmont, a little bit of a different of a venue. It's a unique venue here, kind of with all the greens. So really, uh, you know, St. Henry decked out in their red, and they've brought a, a big crowd here tonight. Jackson Center also bring, brings a pretty good crowd itself. So it looks like these guys, I mean, our area just supports high school sports so well here, especially when it gets this late in the tournament. Yeah, it's quite a colorful sight here at the Thunderdome of Northmont. You got the red and the orange and the green and the yellow and gold throughout it. The, right now, the public address announcer is making the customary pregame announcement. And they'll be introducing the starting lineups here in just a moment. And of course, our starting lineups all brought to you by Sydney Allglaze Audiology here on NK Telco Sports. Mm. St. Henry comes into tonight's game 19 and 6, as we said. Coming off wins over Marion Local and Fort Recovery in their previous tournament action. Jackson Center, of course, as well. Very familiar with the district. Four-time state tournament appearances for the Tigers. Visiting team tonight, St. Henry Redskins. Redskins, as one would anticipate, and as you said, Brandon brought a tremendous contingent from Mercer County as they introduce the starting lineups and the roster for the St. Henry Redskins. Starting lineup for the Redskins. There you'll see it. Number one, Chloe. Number one is Chloe Gells. Number five is Claire Wendell. Number seven, Lydia Whirling. Number eight, Carly Winner. Number nine, Brianna Seifring. And number 12, Maya Antrop. Those are the starters for the St. Henry Redskins, all brought to you by Sydney Auglay's Audiology. And of course, the Redskins under the direction of head coach Tricia Rosenbeck. Home team tonight, the Jackson Center Tigers. Nice ovation. They've got a colorful student body here tonight, Brandon. Yeah, it's getting colder. It's <laughs> November, but I think it's a beach theme here. Starters for the Tigers, as we said, all brought to you by Sydney Auglaze Audiology. There you see it. Number two, Avam Winner. Number 12, Elena Platfoot. Number 14, McKinley Reichert. Number 15, Morgan Kipker. Number 25, Grace Woolley. Number 30, Shia Akers. And number 31, Sarah Clark. That's the starters for head coach Kim Metz. And as we said, Tigers enter tonight's contest at 21 and five overall. Let's take a look at our keys to the game tonight, all brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. First for the visiting St. Henry Redskins. Well, looking here for St. Henry, they want to serve aggressive. When you talk about Mac volleyball, you think of aggressive serving right away. The Redskins want to get ahead and do that right away to kind of set the tone, get the Jackson Center Tigers out of system. They want to have confidence in serve reception too in their side out efficiency. And they also want to play with energy and be consistent too. And for the home team on the scoreboard tonight, the Jackson Tigers, the keys to the game for Coach Kim Metz's squad. On the flip side here for the Jackson Center Tigers, 
They want to be able to control what they can control. Don't let little things, you know, call by, calls by officials. As we have four officials out here now since we're in tournament play. Don't let that, you know, take control of the game. Control what you can control. Focus on the little things. That's what Jackson does better than any other team, I think, in the area is they're able to control the little things. Maybe they don't have the most athleticism or everywhere on the court, and they're not going to beat you athletically, but they always do the little things the best, and they're so well coached always, and they just want to have fun. You know, they're here in the regionals. You know, there's only 16 teams left. Have fun. There's a lot of teams at home right now, and they've got an opportunity to play in a regional final. And our Keys to the Game brought to you as always by Key Keyhole Pizza. We can't forget Keyhole Pizza, can no, we, Brandon? we cannot. <laughs> of course not. Lots of talented players on the floor here tonight. You take a look at Jackson Center, several. They have three players named to the District eight, or District 9 team. Sarah Clark, Shia Akers, first team mentions. Abel Witter, a second team player for St. Henry. You got Brianna Seifring, a first team pick in District 8. Lydia Whirling, a second team selection. And Grace Lange, an honorable mention. So lots of talented players here on the floor tonight as Jackson Center and St. Henry trying to move on and Division Four high school volleyball action. Jackson Center with the first serve. St. Henry will be on the attack. Wendell sends it and it's deep and one nothing lead for the Jackson Center Tigers. Wendell comes at an odd angle there and has to try to kind of get it ball down but it sails long one nothing Tigers early. Tigers with a serve. Back row comes the set and point comes to the Redskins and we are tied at one. Wendell redeems herself right away there after that service error. That's her 100 or uh, attack air, 107th kill of the year for Wendell. Claire Wendell with the kill and the serve for the Redskins. Here comes the set over to the right side. Soft touch. Redskins will recover. Comes the hit by Clark up front. Goes deep, and that's going to be an attack here for the Redskins as Jackson Center jumps out to a two to one lead. And Clark will pick up the point in serve. That makes it three to one. Yeah, Lauren Robinette had a hard time there too, trying just to handle that. That's the 74th ace of the season for Clark. Clark, 5'10", senior. Back row winner. Back over strong hit at the net. And McKinley Reichert, only a freshman. With the hit, but in the net, so St. Henry will pick up a point. You take a look, McKinley Reichert's come a long way. She's a freshman. Just hits the tip of the tape there to Mr. Rector, shot out of bounds. Replays brought to you by winners. Quality meets here on NK Telco Sports. And St. Henry will tie it up at three. As Raya Busher in serve picks up the ace. That was a nice nosedive serve, too. To the back row, winner. Back up to the front line. Here comes the strong hip up front. Here comes the set. It's going to be Cut. touched by the Tigers. So that'll put St. Henry up 4-3. It was a nice, what they call a slide play there for Curly Winner. Went right there, and I don't know if that touched Ava Winner in the back row, but that's what it's called by our judge. 4-3 Redskins, their first lead of the night. Here comes the set, the hit by Reichert at the net. And Reichert will get that point. And we are tied at four on the First National Bank. Think first scoreboard. Take a look here at winter quality meets replay there. Whirling tried to catch him napping there, but Reichert not going to have any of it and blocks the sophomore and ties the game back up at four. Strong hit by the Redskins as Chloe Gells picks up the kill and puts St. Henry in the lead at 5-4. St. Henry with the serve. Whirling with the serve for the Redskins at the net. Strong hit up front. 
Uh, acres. Acres. We'll tie it up at five. Acres really very strong, good position, and nailed it for the Tigers. Woolley with the serve for the Tigers. Gells. It'll be a little bit long, so the Tigers will take the 6 5 lead. And that was the hardest hit. I think the hardest attack we had tonight. It just goes long. Fortunate enough for the Tigers there. Woolley with a serve into the net. Woolley at 96.5%. But the Redskins will tie it up at six as Lauren Bikey will enter the contest for the Redskins. With the serve, Tigers, Woolley will set. St. Henry recovers. Woolley will try and set. And the hit a little bit long by Yarkowski. Oh. I'm gonna call a tip at the net. I'm call a tip at the net as Yarkowski gets the break. And it's 7-6. Jackson center with the lead. That's serve, and that's going to be an ace. And Jackson center, Brandon's largest lead of the day, two that, points. That's what we call a little bleeder there. <laughs> Caught St. Henry off guard. McKinley Riker gets the friendly tip of the tape there. Back row, here come the Redskins right back at it. Ontrop with a hit. Tigers will recover, not able to handle it. So that'll make it eight to seven. Can't get it on three there. Ontrop's the one that hit it over as Lydia Whirling, the setter in this offense, back in serve. Claire Wendell enters the game for St. Henry. Whirling, strong serve. Dug out by the Tigers. They get it across. Back over here comes the hit by Gells, and at the net, Jackson Center will win the battle as Grace Woolley with the kill makes it nine to seven. And that's two termination blocks for points there. Woolley getting the majority of that right there, nine to seven game. Seesaw and back and forth. Ava Winter back in service now for the Tigers. Winter with the serve. Here comes the Redskins. Gells on the other side. Now the Tigers will set it up. Gells goes into the net and Jackson Center makes it 10 to seven. Jackson Center taking that sides advantage has done a real nice job bringing blockers to the net here early on to get the St. Henry offense a little out of system at times. Winner with the serve for Jackson Center. Back row hit by the Tigers. At the net, Clark. And say that just fell out of bounds. So that point goes to St. Henry, and that makes it 10 to 8. Gells with the serve. It's going to be long, and it's 11 to 8. Substitutes. Shia Akers will come back into the lineup as Woolley will go out. Jackson center, pretty strong front row, Brandon. Very strong, they've done a nice job sending blockers to the net, like I just said, to throw that St. Henry attack offense off, off course a little bit. St. Henry will bounce back, that makes it 11 to nine on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Carly Winter into the front line for St. Henry. Here comes the hit by Clark. 12 to nine, our score. That's Clark's first kill of set one. 12 to nine, Tiger advantage. Sarah Clark in serve. Wendell, hit's gonna be long and Jackson Center finds himself with a 13 to nine lead and Fisher Rosen back for St. Henry will take the timeout. Brought to you by Precision Strip. We'll take a break as well. Our score, Jackson Center Tigers 13. The St. Henry Redskins 9. We'll be back right after this. Park National Bank. Cargill. St. Henry Bank. Chill Tex LLC. 
Speedway Lane. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. St. Henry takes the timeout. They find themselves down by four at 13 to nine. Jackson Center in serve. Clark will send it across. Mental mistake there by St. Henry after the timeout. So the point goes to the Tigers and it's 14 to nine. That's Clark 75th ace on the season. She doesn't jump serve. She just has great movement on that ball and that pulls in again. Phenomenal. Clark with yet another. Another point that makes it 15 to nine. Clark 93% plus server. Hit at the net and it's going to go out. And that's going to be point for the Redskins. 15 to 10 our score. As Raya Busher will come in to serve for St. Henry. Five point lead for Jackson Center. Akers back over to Platfoot. Quick move there by Lydia Whirling. She'll get the kill and the point for St. Henry and a smart move by the Redskins senior. Jackson not sending anyone right there. Lydia Whirling catches a napping for another St. Henry point. Unfortunately, the serve error makes it 16 to 11. One thing you look at in this game too, St. Henry serves an 85% clip, Jackson Center a 93% clip. Flat foot serve a little bit long. It makes it 16 to 12. And Brianna Seifring will serve it up for the Redskins. And she'll collect the ace and the Redskins cut the lead to three on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. 31st ace of the season for Seifring. Seifring with a jump serve and she'll pick up another ace as winner unable to handle it and it's 16-14. Redskins climbing right back into this one. Tigers can't lose focus here. The Premier maybe go out to Akers here on an opportunity or Riker to get some momentum back. Tough serve and Seifring will pick up St. Henry's four straight point. Boy, a lot of spin on that served by Seifring, so Jackson Center will take the timeout. Brought to you by Precision Strip, our score. Jackson Center 16, St. Henry 15. We'll be back right after this. Minster Bank. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Good serving by Brianna. Seifring has brought the Redskins right back into this one. One point difference. Jackson Center with the lead, Brandon. We had a 16-10 ball game. Brianna Seifring right here got has the Redskins on a roll. One of their top players, and we see why here. And this is just getting turning into what is going to be a dogfight. Strong hit. And the kill there by Shia Akers, and that makes it 17-15. You take a look here on winter quality meets replay. Akers just puts that one right past Rhea Busher. Gabrielle 
Woolley with the serve. St. Henry, here comes Gels. Tigers with it at the net. And McKinley Reichert. And it's 18 to 15. And now that timeout uh, really proving its worth right here for the Tigers. Woolley and serve. Whirling takes it over for St. Henry. Redskins setting it up. It's going to be a little bit long by Carly Winter. That makes it 19 to 15. Yeah, Winter had to make a long jog on that slide play. She was calling that to Whirling back there. She knew where to set it, but it was just a long way to go for Winter. And they had a better opportunity, I thought, elsewhere. Gels. Soft touch, Woolley. Strong hit at the net by the Tigers. St. Henry will recover. Here comes Gels at the net. St. Henry bounces back. Soft touch, looking for the open space. Great save. Gels keeps it. We're still playing. At the net, and Kieran Yarkowski comes up with a point. Take a look at that one more time. Wow, that gives you goosebumps. I don't know what does. That was phenomenal defense both ways. What a rally. Some great work there, and we've got to time out our score. Jackson Center 20 and St. Henry 15. I'd like to remind you that. Uh, and that timeout, I mean, you get four straight points off that timeout. Did the Jackson Center Tigers, and that proves that's a good veteran coaching move there by Kim Metz, who talked about she's the dean of Shelby County Volleyball, 34 years. And just a phenomenal job done there by the Tigers. They don't give up. Both, both teams, we thought, should have had the point there early on, had great opportunities, but both St. Henry and Jackson Center, great defense. Just phenomenal, 20 to 15 here. This has been a great first set. This is just beginning a great night of volleyball. Yeah, the Tigers really bounced back. They took that timeout. St. Henry made the run, and Jackson Center, as you said, some tremendous defense. I'd like to remind you that NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of high school volleyball on NK Telco Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503. Tonight's game replayed on Saturday, November the 6th at 10 a.m. and Sunday, November the 7th at 5 p.m. St. Henry trying to stop the Tiger momentum. That hit just a little bit too long, and the lead now goes to six. And Gabriel Woolley stays in serve for the Tigers. At the net, McKinley Reichert. And it's 22-15. Take a look at that one more time. Just an overpass there on that play. Reichert puts that away easy. Redskins looking to, they need a point. They'll get it. 22-16. There's Carly Winter there. Ava Winter did a nice job there digging that ball out. The hard part there was for Sarah Clark to try to navigate around Winter to go get that ball. That stopped a six point Tiger run. Right side hit is strong as Rikert's hit just a little bit too strong, and it makes it 22-17 on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Tigers get it over and in the net, or lift rather. 22-18, and mistake there by Jackson Center on the lift, and that'll keep St. Henry in serve. St. Henry on the recovery. Here comes the set. Reichert back over. Redskins will recover. Woolley sends it over and Busher's hit off target and out of bounds. That makes it 23-18. Our score and 
Tigers on the edge here. Willie did a nice job too, faking out there. And Jackson Center had a couple service errors. Pretty surprising. They come in serving at a 93% clip. That's very good. And to see three service errors from Jackson Center in one set is pretty rare. Yeah, service by the Tigers coming into tonight's contest. Pretty phenomenal. Woolley. And Woolley, Grace Woolley, that is. Will hit it, and it's out, and it's 23-20 our score as Lydia Whirling will step to the line. This is the point you got to get if you're the Tigers here, if you want to put it away right here, I think. Good, strong serve, but the Tigers will handle it. Woolley gets it across. St. Henry needs a good hit here. Wendell goes and gets it. And it's 23-21. you got to love the energy that both crowds are supplying, too. This is a great, great match early on. we got a timeout brought to you by Precision Strip. Our score, Jeff Jackson Center 23 and St. Henry 21. So once again, the Tigers take a timeout. Yeah, and this is where you, you know, you took the timeout last time. You got a six point run out of it. So again, the right time to call that timeout if you're Ken Nets, it's not gonna translate to the next set. 23-21 uh, here. This is a back breaking point. I mean, the momentum gets set right here. This is where you gotta keep. You can't lose a lead like this if you're the Tigers. Yeah, St. Henry just seems like for most of this opening set have kind of been battling uphill. And the play by the Tigers up front just a little bit stronger. And two teams ready to go back out on the on the floor. 23-21 our score. Jackson Center with the lead. Tigers come into tonight's game 21 and 5 overall. St. Henry 19 and 6. St. Henry will have the serve, and it's Lydia Whirling. About an 80% server, and it goes into the net, and it's 24-21, and going for the win, and set number one is Jackson Center on this serve. Gals back row, and there it is. Seaprings hit into the net. So Jackson Center takes set number one over the St. Henry Redskins, 25 to 21. We'll be back with second set action right after this. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Winners Meats, quality meats for four generations. Hoagie Lumber, Hilsman Automotive. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Edith Minster, Clope, Keyhole Pizza. A nice win for Jackson Center in set number one, taking a 25 21 win over St. Henry. And we move on to set number two, and Tigers really played some outstanding defense, Brandon. Oh, they did, and they played scrappy. Eight kills for the Tigers overall in set one, four aces and two blocks. On the flip side, for the Redskins, they had eight kills, four aces and no blocks. Uh, Carly Winter, three kills. Claire Wendell, three kills that set. Brianna Seifring, a kill. Lydia Whirling, a kill. Three aces from Brianna Seifring, an ace from Rhea Busher. On the flip side for the Tigers, 
they had Kieran Nurkowski had three or had two kills. Kinley Reichert, two kills. A kill from Sarah Akers, two kills from Shia Akers, and a kill from Gabrielle Woolley. And a really nice job done there by the Tigers in set one. Really, St. Henry played from behind the whole time. Uh, it was back and forth, back and forth till about 9 7. Uh, it got to 16 to 10. We see the Redskins creep back in, and then we see the Tigers just put the pedal to the metal from there on out and take set one 25 21. So. A great first set here. Now now you uh, reset everything, and who comes out and plays their best in set two? Yeah, Jackson Center had built a nice lead, and then St. Henry came back, made it 16-15, where Coach Metz took the timeout, regrouped, and the Tigers increased the lead and wisely won that first set. And just to pass it along, New Knoxville, a winner in their first set at Leipzig. And of course, uh, lots of folks interested in that contest. 25 19 win for the Rangers. If you're listening live here on NK Telco Sports, New Knoxville up one set on Leipzig in their regional semifinal contest. Rooting for our buddy Jeff Hinchin and his uh, two of his or two of his daughters up there playing in that game. So good luck to our fellow NK Telco School in Knoxville. Four NK Telco schools playing tonight here in regional volleyball. Pretty outstanding. Langy with the serve for St. Henry, and that's going to be a lift. So St. Henry will take a one nothing lead as Grace Lange. 89% server entering tonight's contest. Lange with the jump serve. Woolley, tough time, and it's gonna go into the Jackson center bench, and Lange giving St. Henry a lift, and it's 2-0. And this is uh, what St. Henry didn't do. They didn't play with a lead at all here. Now let's see them in control. Let's see what they start doing here. Lange with her third set. Woolley will handle it. Kipker gets it across. St. Henry will one hit send it back across. Over in the right side at the net. Redskins block it. They'll find the open spot. Ooh, they're going to call a Redskin in the net. So Jackson Center will pick up the first point. Look at number eight, Carly Winner here is I believe who they called it on. Come down and hit the net as she was coming down. Lange back over to Winner. Here comes the Tigers. Reichert with the point, and we are tied at two. McKinley Reichert, only a freshman. There's a lot of good freshman volleyball players yeah. in our area. Very much so. And she's one of them. Sarah Clark, the senior, will serve it away. And into the net it goes, and the Redskins will return the serve. And that means. Raya Busher back into the lineup for the Redskins. Busher also a freshman will serve it up for the Redskins. Clark. She'll hit it across. St. Henry will field it. Battle at the net. Jackson Center trying to set it. And it's going to be up and over and the Tigers will take We'll, we'll tie it up at 3-3 on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. St. Henry. Clark for Jackson Center. That's going to be a little bit short. St. Henry with a 4-3 lead. We give the kill to Brianna Seifring there for second of the match. 264 kills coming into the game are on the season for Seifring as she's back in service now. Seifring with the serve. Strong hit. And Lange not able to handle it. As Akers comes up with the kill. And we are tied at four on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Akers leading with four kills right now for the Tigers. Woolley with the serve into the net, and St. Henry on the serving air makes it 5-4. I think if you have to really hit Jackson one thing, it's been that service. They serve very well at 93.3%, have not been serving at, at that rate here tonight early on. 
Lauren Beitke, a senior in serve for St. Henry. Tigers, they'll get it across. Here comes the set at the net, and Jackson centers. Violation in the net, and that'll make it 6 4, and Beike will stay and serve. And give the kill to Chloe Gals right there, her first kill of the night. Clark back over by Woolley. Here comes the set at the net, and Entrep with the block, and it's 7 4. St. Henry with the lead. And you've seen St. Henry play different when they've had the lead here early on in the second set when they were playing behind most of the first set. Very well done here. Nice response by Coach Rosenbeck's squad as there's in the lift card. Double hit, and we got a timeout. Our score, St. Henry, eight. Jackson center four will return right after this. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Precision Strip. Tom and Jerry's. Kogi Plumbing and Heating. Carriage Works. New Knoxville Supply Company. Jackson Center takes the timeout. They find themselves down eight to four as Lauren Beike stays in serve for St. Henry. Beike with the serve. Clark back up to the front. Woolley and then the strong hit and the kill by Yarkowski. Yarkowski putting some heat on that one, the lefty. Right out of the timeout. Jackson Center been very well out of the timeouts early on. Yarkowski with that strong hit. The kill makes it eight to five. Here come the Redskins. Gells gonna be wide, so it's eight to six. And McKinley Reichert stays and serve for the Tigers. St. Henry on the attack. Gells one more time. Clark will recover. Woolley up front to Grace Woolley. They get it across. Here comes Gells and up the net. And a point goes to the Redskins. Gells wasn't very involved in the offense here in the first set. I think that's one thing that's been to a benefit for the Redskins here early on. Getting Gells who's second in kills more involved and now a 9 to 6 St. Henry advantage and you see why. Lydia Whirling with the serve for St. Henry up by three. And out of bounds. So. Redskins pick up their 10th point as Whirling will stay and serve. Across the net, handled by Winter at the net, still alive. Good recovery by the Tigers. Nice hit by Gells, I believe. She'll get the kill. And Big point for St. Henry. Boy, and Gels just put that away. Great defense by Jackson to keep that alive there. And Gels eventually gets that opportunity and she makes Jackson center pay. 11-6 St. Henry advantage. Whirling with the serve. And she'll collect the ace. And St. Henry up 12-6 as momentum in this set. Going St. Henry's way. 68th ace on the season for Whirling. Senior, ready to serve for the Redskins. Strong serve, good defense by the Tigers. Here comes Clark, good play at the net by St. Henry. Winner up front, Tigers get it across. Here comes Gells. Gells with the kill and it's 13 to six. She has four of them this set. As Gells, hitting percentage of 238 coming into tonight's contest and 
picks up the big point and St. Henry has a seven point lead. Whirling. Here comes Clark and she'll rattle the St. Henry cages with a big point and stop the Redskins momentum. Clark with a hitting percentage of 231. And Ava Maria, Ava <laughs> winner. Yeah. Will come to the line, serving line for Jackson Center. Winner. Here comes the set. Jackson Center. Now comes, here comes the Redskins. Clark to the back row. Redskins. They'll need to get it over. Clark now for the Tigers. Woolley, here comes Clark for the corner out of bounds. And it's 14 to 7. Nice job there to get out of the way, too. Oh no, looks like they're reversing it now. Looks like they're getting Clark the kill. I thought that that might have hit a St. Henry player. Let's take a look at a winner quality meets replay here. One more look. Let's see the hit. Tough telling from that angle. Yeah. 14 to 8, our score. And the Redskins will have the serve as Gels will serve it. Tips the net. Tigers will recover it. Strong hit at the net there by Platfoot, but here comes the Redskins. Soft touch. Platfoot finds the open space, and it's 14 to 9. He can see it one more time. Yeah, just the overpass, a miscommunication on the St. Henry front line. Clark, right place, right time. Keeps yep. her hand on Jackson Center's side and puts it away for an easy kill. Sarah Clark with the kill. St. Henry up 14 to 9. Come the Tigers. Clark finds that open space and boy. Perfect changeup. Change the pace. That's a four to kill the set for Clark. Her and Gell's going back and forth at eight kills between the two. And that's going to be an ace as Morgan Kipker brings her team within three at 14 to 11 as the Tigers bouncing back. Morgan Kipker, 93.9% from the serving line. Lange. And they're saying it's a tip. tip, so makes it 15 to 11. Grace Lange will serve it up for St. Henry. They have a four point lead. Lange with the serve. Tigers will go across, and Lange dives, keeps it alive. Battle at the net. And we got a violation for St. Henry at the net. So makes it 15 to 12 as Sarah Clark will serve it. Senior to the back row. Redskins. Comes the hit from the right side. Tigers. They'll regroup. Breikert gets it across. And 13th point for Jackson Center makes it 15 to 13. We have a timeout. St. Henry, our score. St. Henry 15, Jackson Center 13. We'll return right after this. Are you looking for a new career with amazing growth potential? Nedec Press and Automation is hiring for many positions right now. Nedec is a global company that is growing with its sights on being a billion dollar company. Machinists, service technicians, human resource personnel, IT specialists, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and many more. The opportunities abound at Nedec Press and Automation. Go to minsterjobs.com now to get started on your new career with Nedec. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strips. St. Henry takes the timeout, trying to regroup. They're still up 15 13, but Jackson Center on the move, Brandon. Jackson Center, great serving, great scrappy defense, like they always love to play. Gets them back in this set after St. Henry's really had control here. Necessary timeout to take your for Coach Trisha Rosenbeck. 
So really, this is going to be an interesting point here. The Redskins up 1-0 have played very well this set. Need to get the ball out to Chloe Gills, I believe, again. Clark with the serve. Tigers on the attack. And it's going to be a long hit that time by Shia Akers, and that makes it 16-13. So timeout slows the momentum as Raya Busher will serve it for St. Henry. Busher, winner. Redskins, Seifring, will collect. Brianna Seifring, 17-13. Tiger defense scrapping, but not quite able to get to that one. Busher in serve. Left-handed serve. Clark up front. Strong hit to the back row. Redskins will recover. Here comes Seifring at the net. And that time Jackson Center will win it as Shea Akers with the big play. That's Seven. kind of an anticlimactic termination block. <laughs> That's a, yeah. 17-14 and into the net to serve by Platfoot. So it's 18-14 and the serving air returns that serve to St. Henry. That'll put Brianna Seifring in the serve for the Redskins. Good strong serve by Seifring. Reichert gets it across for Jackson Center. Gels. Clark will have it. And a point for the Redskins. Number eight, Carly Winter for the Redskins. So that leaves Seifring in serve. 19-14 are. Five point St. Henry lead, second set. Jackson Center up 1 0. Winner. Strong hit. Redskins not going to be able to handle it as Shea Akers gets the kill. There's the set, and there's the kill by Chloe Gells, and that'll make it 20 to 15. It's a shot by Gells there. That was a resounding hit. Got on top of that one. That is a textbook hit right there. Lauren Bikey in serve. Redskins with a five-point lead. They hit that magic 20-point mark. And number 12, Maya Ontrop, the middle blocker with the kill and it's 21-15. Tiger overpass results and it's deadly right there. And Jackson Center will take the timeout. Our score, St. Henry 21, Jackson Center 15. We'll return right after this. Jewelry Barn, repairs, custom and in-stock items. Joe's Place 2. Wayne Trail Lincoln Electric. Brookside Laboratories, world leader in analytical services. Bombauer Fertilizer and Seed. Phone Doctors. Back here at Northmont in the Thunderdome, Brandon, and this these two sets are just Amazing. This is really high level competition. These two squads are going right at each other. Scrappy volleyball, you're getting your money's worth here. If you stay for the first game, watch the second game. It's going to be a phenomenal game. Some really good volleyball here down at the Northmont Regional. Well, it's a shame that any of these team, two teams are going to have to go home tonight, other teams are going to have to go on Saturday. But whoever wins back to back games is going to be very deserving. And all four teams can do it as we get here uh, nearing the end of set two. Bikey with a serve. It's going to be long. Just misses. Makes it 21 16. Now Jackson Center wisely takes that, took that time out to try and regroup. And 
They'll collect the ace, and now it's 21-17 as they try to mount a comeback on the serving strength of McKinley Reichard. Reichard, 91% server on the season, sends it to the back row. Busher back over to Gels, finds it. Oh, it's long. Just long. Just barely. long. It's very close, but that, that judge had the best view in the house out of anybody, out of, out of the over 1,000 people that we have here. And it's 21-18 on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Lange to Seifring, and her shot goes long, and it's 21-19. And suddenly, another timeout, all brought to you by Precision Strip. St. Henry takes the timeout. They have the lead, but process of losing some momentum to the Jackson Center Tigers or score St. Henry 21 Jackson Center 19 and boy as we said earlier this game is a game of shifting momentum here yeah. in the second set and like we said Jackson Center the one thing Mets coach Metz has done is taking the timeout at opportune times and her teams have responded very well out of those timeouts they've done a nice job here closing that gap right here but St. Henry's played better this second set it's kind of been you know the, the script has been flipped. Jackson Center had the lead for pretty much the whole first set. St. Henry's had the lead here the whole second set. And I think the St. Henry attacking has got better here. you got to look to get to your big hitters if you're St. Henry. Look at Gels. She's been phenomenal this set. Five kills. you got three kills from Brianna Seifering, two from Maya Ontrop. So it's going to be that serving. It's going to be the big hitters to decide if Jackson goes up 2-0 well or St. Henry can nod this up at a set apiece. 21-19, our score. Jackson Center up one set, finds himself down by two points here in the second set. Gels. Clark will return it for the Tigers. Woolley, strong hit up front by Yarkowski, but St. Henry responds, and that means they're up by three, and they get the serve back. And what a timely defensive play. Big play on the attack there by St. Henry. First termination block of the night for the Redskins, and not much of a better time to get it there if you're Coach Rosenbeck's squad. Lydia Orling. It's going to be long, so it's 22-20. So the serving error gives Tigers the point, and Ave Winner will hit the serve. Here comes Gels from the other side. And Gels will pound that one home, and it's 23 to 20. Look at that one again, Brandon. And she's been getting most of her kills from the left side. This time comes from the right front, says you can't catch up with this. Three-point Redskin lead. And Gels will be in serve. Into the net, and another serving error proving costly for the Redskins. And Jackson Center will have the serve. Kipker will enter. Morgan Kipker will enter and she'll be serving it. And as we said earlier, she serves a 94% clip. Kipker, Lange will have it for St. Henry. Here comes Seifring. Point number 24. Carly Winter gonna enter into the lineup too. Right here for Coach Rosenbeck's squad. Set point right here for the Redskins. Lange will serve it. Here come the Redskins on the serve. Clark back over to Kipker. Here comes the hit by Clark. Lange is going to set it to Seifring. Tiger defense. Number 30, Akers, I believe. Akers and Platfoot, I believe, got the majority Platfoot. of that one or two. Elena Platfoot. That'll make it 24-22. Set point. Wendell. Tigers trying to keep it alive. It's got to go over. Redskins with the set. Seifring, that's in. Set point. And it's 25-22. St. Henry with the win over Jackson Center in set number two. And we are now even at one set each. Second set score one more time. St. Henry 25, Jackson Center 22. We'll be back with set number three right after this. 
Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Hometown Opportunity. Sweeterman's Pharmacy. SecureCom. Ferguson Construction. For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Some great high school volleyball here at the Thunderdome at Northmont High School. There you see the scores all brought to you by First National Bank. Think first scoreboard. First set, Jackson Center, a 25-21 winner. St. Henry bounces back and takes a 25-22 win over the Tigers. So we are 1-1 going into set number three, Brandon. Boy, and that was a great set. Great volleyball again. I mean, just look at these tight scores. You're just going to expect that the rest of the way out. Uh, who makes those little mistakes, those little runs, or that's going to decide who wins this ball game. Cooley Gell, six kills. Brianna Seifring, five kills for the Redskins. Two kills for Maya Ontrop. Uh, total 14 kills for St. Henry. They had 14 kills compared to eight in set one. They get a termination block and two aces. Look on the flip side here for the Jackson Center Tigers. They had more kills. They said they had 10 kills. They had four from Sarah Clark and three from Shia Akers. Two from McKinley Reichert, one from Kieran Nurkowski. Uh, Morgan Kipker added an ace. McKinley Reichert had an ace. So overall, against some great volleyball, this has been as even as you can get right here, right now. Well, you know, and, and the smallest of mistakes, whether it's a, a hitting error, a serving error, or whatever it might be, it just looms so large in these contests. Exactly. They get magnified in, in regional plays like this in tournament. You know, your brightest stars have to show up here, too, and that's what I think St. Henry did a great job of getting involved in the second set, was getting Gels, getting Seifring involved. They were quiet that first set, and I think that's really a key reason that they did not win set one. They got Gels, they got Seifring involved, and they had half the offense. You see the big dramatic change there from St. Henry. That's why they take set two, and basically rolled revert, rolls reverse there. Set two should be a great third set coming up here right here right now. Yeah, you're definitely right. Gels and Seifring much more involved in that offense for St. Henry. Set number three, and it's in as Wendell will come up with the kill, and St. Henry will jump out to a one to nothing lead, and Grace Lange will serve it up for the Redskins. St. Henry Senior with the serve. Clark will have it. Kipker comes the set over to the right side and Akers. Hitting air there by Whirling, so that'll make it 1-1. And Akers just pops that one over. Fortunately for her, Whirling was just a little out of position. We're knotted up at one apiece. Clark will ace it. And Jackson Center with a two to one lead. I'm so impressed with Sarah Clark, her serving. She doesn't jump serve, she doesn't do anything fancy, yet she has 77 aces. It's amazing to watch. She's so good at placing that ball and got great spin on it. St. Henry on the attack. Wendell with the kill and we're tied at two. Now Claire Wendell suddenly into the attack game for St. Henry. She's going to head to the bench just as you say that. She was a little more involved in the first set. Didn't call her name much there in the second set. But right away, Claire Wendell with two big kills. Raya Busher with the serve. Winner. Great save by, I believe, Kipker there. And St. Henry back on the attack. And try to go outside the Carly winner on that slide play again. We've seen St. Henry run it a couple times a set, about twice a set here so far. It hasn't been the most effective play here for the Redskins. Riker with the serve. 
Here come the Redskins. Seifring's strong hit at the net. Seifring's going to up. Well, Tiger, boy, I tell you, the defense comes on strong. Clark will get it across to Lange. And Lydia Whirling, smart play, will tie it up and get the kill. Whirling uses that dink, that dump pass, that dink over there at the right opportune time. So it's something you can't show a whole lot, but when you do it, you have to be able to seize momentum and get a point out of it. Here comes the St. Henry serve. Kipker. And St. Henry will pick up the point as that'll make it 4-3. And this, you know, I've been coming to the Northmont Regional for the past five years. So I think this is the most cool I've ever saw this arena. Jackson center on the attack. Reichert to the back row. Lange will save it. Whirling. Here comes Gels. Looking for the corner. And it's a little bit too strong. And we're tied at four. Gels had it. Put her right at the line judge. But serve will go to... Gabrielle Woolley for Jackson Center. The senior will serve it up. Busher. Soft touch at the front by St. Henry. Scrambling to recover. Lange will send it back over. Winner over to Woolley over the right side. Reichert. See if St. Henry can get it across. Nice recovery as Lange gets the final hit. Here comes a strong hit at the net and Jackson Center. We'll win that battle. Take it that look at that one more time on a winner's quality meets replay. Nice back set to Yarkowski out of the right front. Does a nice job there. The lefty gives the Tigers the lead back. Nice play by Yarkowski. That's a one-point Tiger lead. Strong hit. Woolley will recover. Nice move. Nice hit. Off balance hit by Jackson Center, but Gels finds the line and we are tied at five. This is what St. Henry's got to keep doing. They got to keep Gels and Seifring the focal point of the offense, mixing other people like Claire Wendell and Carly Winter just a little here and there. And that's when St. Henry's been at its best. Here comes the St. Henry serve and that'll be an ace. Lauren Beike and it's 6-5 St. Henry. 56 aces on the season now for Bikey. Second serve for Bikey. As, oh, the red spins fall asleep there. And nice play up front by the Tigers. That was Woolley over there that set that over? I believe that was Woolley. Nice, nice alert play. Finds that open space and Reichert will serve it. Tied at six. Gels. Winner goes after it. Tell you what, Jackson Center, they never say die, do they? No, they never do. And like I said, again, St. Henry, keeping Gels the focal point of that offense, Seifring, sprinkle in your other hitters there. That's when St. Henry's going to start taking control if they need to. And that's when they've been playing better. Winner. Back over to Woolley. And. That'll be a point for Jackson Center, so. Don't know what it was, it was called on Gels. We're tied at seven on the first National Bank Pink first scoreboard. Winner going for the Jackson Center lead. Gels. Woolley will handle it. Hit at the net, comes back to the Tigers. Here comes Clark and there's the block. Looks like Wendell and Ontrop and that will put St. Henry into the lead at eight to seven. Just to, those of you watching us live, New Knoxville has gone up two sets over Lipsick in the uh, the other regional action going on tonight in this part of the state. Jackson Center will get it across. Whirling back over to Seifring. Saved there by Riker. Clark. Here comes the set, Seifring at the net. Clark will set it up. And Yarkowski. Kiran Yarkowski with the kill, and we're tied at eight. So you see it on our 
our replay. Boy, this third set has been a seesaw. <laughs> We've seen so many ties here early on. Now we're doing it point by point, Exactly. <laughs> Great volleyball. Wendell, she'll get the kill, and St. Henry goes up nine to eight. Take a look at that one on our winner's quality meets replay. Claire Wendell, what a set she's having when she gets her chances there. She has a nice job there, has 106 kills in the season coming into the night, and she's having a great third set. Lange with the serve. Riker over to winner. Tigers get it back over to cross. Here comes the set for Seifering. Looking at it, we're gonna catch it, Brandon. And that's exactly what they did. The eyes of the defense was faked out by Winter coming over, thinking there was gonna be a little bit of a slide play. They faked, they go out to the left front to Seifering, and the position of the Jackson Center defense was moved there. Nice job there by St. Henry. That ball had a lot of, lot of, lot of momentum on it as Lange will serve it. Akers. St. Henry Wendell goes for the corner and she'll score. Claire Wendell coming up with the big points here for St. Henry, the senior from that right side. Makes it 11 to eight on that first National Bank think first scoreboard. And Grace Lange stays and serve. And Lange will pick up the ace and it's 12 to eight. Playing with her 45th ace on the year. St. Henry with a four point lead. Lange, soft serve, almost looked like it was a off balance hit, and it's 12 to 9. Yeah, when you want to put it in a particular spot, you have to think about it more, and that's the hardest thing. You got to think. Clark will try and get some momentum for the Tigers, and she does just that. Sarah Clark, the senior. Makes it 12 to 10. Wendell, whirling, Seifring at the net. The Tigers will win that battle. And the interesting part of that is he thought that Kim Metz was going to take the timeout, didn't. And now three points in a row rattled off here by the Tigers. Clark. Here comes Wendell. She's on fire here in set number three. It's 13 to 11 as Wendell picks up the point. Busher will come in to serve and Wendell goes out. Five kills for Claire Wendell in set three. What a job done here by the senior. Busher with the serve, winner. Kipker back of the number 12, Flatfoot. And the hit a little bit too strong in St. Henry now with a three point cushion at 14 to 11. Busher with another serve. Akers, Kipker. Strong hit. That's number eight, Carly Winner. Big kill for the middle hitter there for St. Henry and Jackson Center coach. Kim Metz will take the timeout with her team down by four. Our score in set number three, St. Henry 15, Jackson Center 11. We'll return after this. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. Jackson Center takes the timeout that time as they have a four point deficit to try and overcome against St. Henry and the Redskins here in set number three on a roll. Yeah, and you really see St. Henry get into a group. Claire Wendell's been phenomenal this third set. Really not one of the more featured here. She only had 106 kills coming into the, this match, but she has five kills this set alone and 108, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, eight total in the match. 
And Butcher's serve goes into the net, so that will slow St. Henry's momentum down for a moment, and that brings the serve back to the Tigers. Looking to capitalize on the serving air by St. Henry. Sebring, and the hit will go out of Jackson Center, and that'll make it 16 to 12. Carly Winter with the kill there on that slide play. Hits off the intended blocker, and 16 to 12. In for a battle here. This is a dog fight. Brianna Sebring with the serve. Clark with the hit. Busher has a hand on it. Lange. Redskins send it back over. Kipker with the set. Comes back over. And Whirling once again goes for that open space. The setter. Big play by Lydia Whirling. Smart play by Whirling. And it's 17 to 12. You have to hide it. You have to take opportunity with it. You got to see when the defense gives you them holes, gives you them openings. And that's when Whirling takes advantage of it. And that's an ace. Brianna Seifering. With the ace, she'll stay and serve 18 to 12. St. Henry up by six. Macy Kloppenstein, number 20, into the lineup for Jackson Center. Kloppenstein, a sophomore. Winner, Kipker, over in the right side, Acres. Here comes St. Henry. Gels. 19 to 12. And Little space here for the first time really yeah, in really. any of the sets tonight. Really taking control here by the Redskins, 19 to 12. Gels with her third kill of the set, trying to put this away here for the Redskins. Brianna Seifring, Kloppenstein, Kipker. Kloppenstein hits it across, here comes the set. It's gonna be a little bit long as Winners hit just a little bit strong, so that'll make it 19 13. Gabrielle Woolley will serve it for Jackson Center. Left handed serve, St. Henry. Busher will send it back over. Winner over to Woolley. Yarkowski will get it. And yeah, that's point number 14 for Jackson Center. Murkowski with her third kill of the set. Does a nice job, the left-hander does. Keen Murkowski. Makes you think a little bit too when you see someone come from the left side compared to the right side. Woolley, the serve for Jackson Center. And Gels with the kill and St. Henry makes it 20 to 14 and they'll have the serve and Lauren Bikey will come in. Keep feeding the ball to Chloe Gell. She's done a phenomenal job up that left front in particular. Bikey will get the ace and it's 21 to 14. And Coach Metz is saying keep going to her targets, keep fighting. It's a seven point deficit. But they've rattled off points here. Bikey will collect Another race, and it's 22 to 14. Timeout, Jackson Center. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip, our score. St. Henry 22, Jackson Center 14. We'll be back right after this. At Home and Interiors, our team loves to design beautiful yet cost-effective projects. From sleek and simple to elaborate and detailed, we customize to fit your tastes and budget with free interior design and color coordination. Visit our 5,000 square foot kitchen design center and bring your next project to life. Full custom kitchen and bath cabinets are built right here in New Bremen. Home and Interiors, your vision designed for your budget. Lauren Bikey and serve for St. Henry. 
as the Redskins up by eight, 22 14, set number three, trying to take a 2 1 lead in this regional semifinal action from the Thunderdome at Northmont High School. This is really the first time the Tigers have been back on their toes. How do they respond now is the question. And Bikey with yet another ace. Four of them in this set. And it's 23-14. Clark, tough time handling it. But they recover as Yarkowski gets the, the kill and it's 23-15. Klappenstein with the serve. That'll make it 25-14. And here we are, Brandon. And here's set point here. You know, tough up hill climb here for the Tigers. Got to rattle off nine in a row. Lydia Whirling. Strong serve. Clark will have it. Woolley sends it back over. Lange to the front. There's the set by Whirling. Wendell with the 25th point. St. Henry will take our third set, 25-15, and we'll move on to set number four here on NK Telco Sports. Set number three final, St. Henry 25, Jackson Center 15. We'll return right after this. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Kennedy Garage. Don't cuss, call us for all your auto repair needs. Bushers Market. Biggins Small Engine Repair and U-Haul. Find us on Facebook. Superior Aluminum Products. Join our superior team today. Next Generation Kitchen and Bath. Design your next kitchen or bathroom project with us. K&M Imports. K&M Imports Sales and Service. Reichman Sales and Service, Ag Chemical Distributors, Brucey Inn and Tavern, Homan Interiors, Sassy Sisters Designs, Sassy Sisters Designs Home Decor and more, Francis Manufacturing, Francis Manufacturing and Rushi. Forever Fit, Forever Fit 24-7, Orchard's Floor Store, Very convincing win by St. Henry in set number three, 25 15. And boy, taking a look at those numbers, Brandon, Redskins really came alive in that set number three. You talk about sometimes in volleyball, you got to rely on airs. That was the definition of efficient there by the St. Henry Redskins. 15 kills, six aces, four aces coming from Lauren Bikey, four kills from Chloe Gell. She keeps on keeping on. But the impressive part, Claire Wendell with six kills that set, comes out and is the star of that set to give St. Henry or put him in the driver's seat. Nice job there. You know the defense is more shifting, more of Gale's way. Claire Wendell takes advantage of the opportunities. Two kills, or a kill there for Brianna Seifring, two kills for Carly Winter, two kills for Lydia Whirling. And then looking on the flip side for the Jackson Center Tiger, also only six kills that set, two aces. And the two aces are from Sarah Clark, a kill from Clark, a kill from Akers, a kill from Gabrielle Woolley, and a kill from Kirian Yurkowski. Now this game is really flipped in St. Henry's uh, favor. This is the first time we've had really true momentum all night. And St. Henry's got it. How does the Tigers respond? You've seen St. Henry as the game gets on. They're getting more and more comfortable. Jackson Center has got to rely on that scrappy, hard-nosed defense that helped them win set one. Yeah, that set one was also convincing for the Tigers as they pulled out a 25-21 win. But it changed there in the second set and really, really in set number three, Redskins uh, showing some great play all around. And that's why they ended up with a 25-15 set win. So 
Tigers looking to regain the magic here in set number four, and there's still a lot of volleyball to be played. 2-1, St. Henry with the set lead. Winner goes on to the regional championships on Saturday. And St. Henry starts out quickly as Grace Lange has the ace, and the serving game for St. Henry has it's improved really dramatically. Off. I mean, you talk for a team that serves at an 85% clip, bringing the power now. Grace Lange with the serve has her team up 2-0. That one goes into the net and it's 2-1. to one. I think you take that, you get 2-1 to one right there. You get two aces out there right there by Lange. So a good start for the Redskins. They try to take advantage here early. Now Sarah Clark in service has been very good in service here tonight too. Clark, excellent server. There's the hit and Harley Winter with the kill and it's 3-1. to one. And Carly Winter, that slide play works to perfection there. Nice job done there by Carly to wrap around and get that ball down. Busher will come in to serve for St. Henry. Clark gets it across and Clark will pick up the kill and it's three to two. A little bit unorthodox, but Tigers down by one point. That's Clark's seventh kill of the match. Reichert with a Tiger serve. Here comes Seifring. She'll get it. Seifring had a quiet set through there, only one kill. Nice job there done by her. I think it's a 4 to 2 lead here for St. Henry. You've got to have a response here sometime here now for Jackson Center. Clearly, the momentum's against you. An uphill battle here for the Tigers. Seifring with the serve. Clark is going to get it across. Busher comes up. Whirling goes for the point and gets it. Lydia Whirling. Take a look at that one more time on our winner's quality meets. Lydia Whirling, the sophomore, does such a nice job of using that dump pass at the right opportune time. Some overutilize it, some underutilize it. She uses it just perfectly. It's been effective every time she's used it. Akers, Lange. Back over it comes for St. Henry. Here comes the set to Akers. Good line play for St. Henry. Reichert will get the kill and the point in Jackson Center. Five to three. You know, I was just about ready to say, Reichert hasn't been very involved in the offense. She didn't have a kill in set three, had two in set two. But she needs to get more touches, I think, here if Jackson Center wants to get involved. You got to get McKinley Reichert the ball more. Here comes Whirling Gels. Boy, that's in. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy smokes. She is heating up. You could see that one a coming. That makes it six to three, St. Henry, as Lauren Bikey, who finished that third set with a string of great serves. She'll serve it here in set number four. Battle at the net. And the Tigers will come up with the point. And that's exactly what you need to see out of Jackson. Get McKinley Reichert more touches. She gets a couple touches there and she takes advantage of them. McKinley Reichert in serve, the freshman. Redskins will handle it. Gels at the net. Tigers will recover. Here comes Reichert. Here comes the set. St. Henry defense is there. Soft touch at the net, but the Tigers recover. Larkowski had it and winner off of her and it's point to St. Henry and it's 7-4. Maya Antrop there is when they get the block. 7-4 now. We've got to see a run here from the Tigers. They've got to get a run going here sometime to, to get them back in this ball game. Whirling with the hit. Clark. Nice save there by Woolley as they get it across. Reichert. Here comes Gels. Tigers slow that hit down. Here comes Clark. Block at the net. And it's going to go out. And the point goes to St. Henry. Who you say got that kill there? I was looking down. That would be 
maybe Woolley. Okay. Oh, this. Here comes Whirling into the net, and it's eight to five. Try to get some momentum off that. You got Ava Winter in service. She's your defensive specialist. Try to get something rolling here for the Tigers. Gels had the strong hit, soft touch on the second hit. Back over it comes. Tigers off balance Kurkowski. Here comes Gels, winner. Back over to Woolley. Kurkowski finds the open space. I'll tell you, Kieran Kurkowski doing a nice job of finding that open court as you can see it. First kill of set four for Yarkowski. This place is getting packed right now with Rushi and Larmy fans coming in. Big crowd on hand. Gels. <laughs> Bring it home, Brandon. Step in front of that one, Dave. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you to do that. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we need one of those velocity guns just for the heck of it. I'd like to see how fast some of these are hit. Oh, man, that was a, a dart. Lauren Robinette is serving up for St. Henry. They're up by three. And Flatfoot with the kill, and it's nine to seven. That's her first kill of the match. Nice job there done by Elena Platfoot. Uh, wait a minute. Well, scratch that. I don't, I don't know what happened. I was looking at my stat sheet. I can see what's going on, but substitute. Uh, maybe a rotation violation. Rotation violation, I believe. And the hit's a little bit short, and it's 11 to six. That doesn't happen very often. No, not at this at this level. And that can be such a backbreaker at this point of the game, where you have the game at seven to nine right there, and you get that point taken out. It's such a momentum shift. Jackson Center's got to respond. Serving air for the Redskins. 11 to 7, our score as Morgan Kipker, a senior, will come back into the lineup for the Tigers to serve. Seifring. Reichert. Seifring with the kill. Oh, I tell you. She can hit it too. <laughs> Put some good velocity on that. Grace Lange steps to the serving line for St. Henry. Five point lead for the Redskins. Clark, a little bit difficult on the return. Winner gets it back over to Akers. St. Henry now on the attack. They send it to the back row. Here comes the set for Clark at the net. And Jackson centers. Clark will get the kill. Take a look at that one more time on our winner's quality meets replay. And that's just a textbook Sarah Clark kill there. Gets right on top of it, gets nice spin right through the St. Henry blockers. Winner. Here comes Seifring. And that'll make it 13 to eight. Seifring with her third kill of the set. Nice job there done by the team offensive leader. We're talking about two. They don't have Mia Niekamp who played last year tour ACL. Uh, it's a tough go of it there for Niekamp, but it's doing a nice job here tonight. Busher with the serve. Boy, that was a tough one to handle. Almost like a knuckleballer by Busher. And that serve lifts St. Henry into a 14 to eight lead on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Busher, Clark. Riker, Redskins, open space. That looks like Lydia Whirling mm, yep. with the kill. And I'll tell you, Whirling's having a nice four set here. Yeah, six kills now. 15 to eight, our score. And Busher with that serve, it goes into the net. Great opportunity here for Jackson Center as Elena Platfoot will serve it up. 92% server. Here comes Seifring. That's going to be long, and it's 15 to 10. Tigers trying to put a string together. 
Here's where you take your momentum if you're Jackson Center. It's got to be now. Flat foot. Here comes Winter. Carly Winter off the set by Whirling. Patent slide play. Whirling with a beautiful set. St. Henry up 16 to 10. Safer gone the serve, and that's an ace. Timeout, Jackson Center. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. Our score, St. Henry 17, Jackson Center 10. We'll return right after this. It's a full stadium. The gym is full as we're nearing the fourth set, and it's quite a finish here. The St. Henry Redskins are really on the verge with a seven point lead here in set number four, holding up a 2 1 lead. And this would be a very, very big victory for St. Henry. This place is electric right now. It's packed wall to wall with fans. I mean, this is unbelievable compared to what we didn't get last year uh, to make up for this as there's an ace by Seifering. Seifering nails it, and it's 18. And you almost kind of feel that St. Henry is sensing it right now. Yeah. New Knoxville, a winner in their regional semifinal round. So they'll move on to a Saturday regional final contest at Elida. Redskins trying to collect another point and they do just that and it's 19 to 10. And Seifring will stay in serve. Brianna Seifring outside hitter hitting percentage at 298. 93% server trying to pick up point number 20. Redskins on the attack. Gels at the net. And that's in the net and point number 11 for Jackson Center. 19 to 11. Brandon, do you have to shake hands with all your relatives as they go uh, by? I us guess here? I'm getting a lot of uh, <laughs> highs, and this is, you know, it's been fun. Haven't been able to do as much volleyball this year. This has been great volleyball here tonight. Gills with the kill, and that's 20 to 11. I would just say that because it is crowded, and the second game fans are arriving at this time, <laughs> and uh, they're walking right behind us, so it's quite a festive. Moment here as Lauren Bikey will get the ace, and it's 21 to 11. And that's the fifth ace of the set for Bikey, who had four in set three. 21 11. Bikey with the serve. One more time for Lauren Bikey, the senior. Timeout, Jackson Center. Our score, Jackson Center finds himself down by 11. St. Henry, 22, Jackson Center, 11. We will return right after this. Clopay Corporation, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road Class A CDL driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package as an equal opportunity employer and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopay.com slash careers. Lauren Bikey will serve it for St. Henry, three points away from moving on to the regional finals against the winner of the Urushi Fort Laramie contest, which follows this game here tonight. Bikey with a serve. Clark will handle it. 
Woolley back over to Kurkowski. Busher whirling. Hip goes across. Tigers winner. Whirling with a set to Gels at the net. Boy, what a deadly combination that has been yes. here in the last two sets. And that's why they seized momentum and are on the verge of being in the regional final. Bikey going for point number 24. Woolley set to the right side and the block at the net goes to St. Henry and it's 24 to 11 and here it is, match point. Bikey with a serve, just a little bit long. Going for another ace was Lauren Bikey. A little delayed celebration here. McKinley Reichert, another freshman, will step to the serving line for Jackson Center. She'll get the serve. Busher will field it. Seifring over to Gels. Winner. Woolley. Here comes Clark. Clark across. Busher. Back over, whirling, going for it. Tigers will recover. Clark will send it back over. Busher with the set to whirling. Gels, that's the way the last two sets have gone. And Gels with the kill, with the assist from whirling. And St. Henry will move on with their 20th win of the season against only six losses. And our final score in set number four, St. Henry 25, Jackson Center 12. We'll be back with our Wagner's IGA recap right after this. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Oakley's and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip. Doing the exceptional. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Clopay Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clopay is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clopay offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopaydoor.com slash careers. 
The St. Henry Redskins will advance to the regional finals on Saturday against the winner of the Fort Laramie Rushi game here at Northmont's Thunderdome. And the Redskins come away with a 3-1 advantage over Jackson Center. The Tigers won that first set 25-21. St. Henry bounces back to take a tight second set 25-22. But then the Redskins in set number three and set number four pull away with 25-15 and 25-12 victories. Impressive effort by the Redskins. Let's take a look at our recap and stats all brought to you by Wagner's IGA. It's just a nice job done there by the St. Henry Redskins as you look at our Wagner's IGA recap. You know, Jackson Center takes that set one, but right after that, St. Henry took over, particularly the third and fourth set there, just got really comfortable, got in their offense, they got it to their big hitters outside in Chloe Gells. They had a nice mix of Claire Wendell in there, Brianna Seifering, Lydia Whirling did a nice job at the setter's position. Uh, just an overall team win. 50 kills for the Redskins, 19 aces, which is the huge difference, three blocks. Jackson Center, 29 kills, eight aces, and five blocks. St. Henry's led by Chloe Gells with 16 kills. Claire Wendell had nine kills. Lydia Whirling had six kills. You had uh, eight kills from Carly Winter. You, there was also 10 kills from Brianna Seifring, so a nice job there. Jackson Center looking at their statistics. They had eight kills from Sarah Clark. Six kills from Shia Akers. Uh, just some notable numbers there. And our recap all brought to you by Wagner's IGA. St. Henry wins the regional semifinal match. Let's talk about our player of the game. All brought to you by NK Telco. And our player of the game, Chloe Gells, the sophomore, wearing the jersey number one in the red and white, had quite an effort for the Redskins. Gells did a phenomenal job right there in set two. You get your big hitters involved in the offense. Jackson did a good job of that, staved it off for a little while. But the talent of St. Henry was just too much to overcome for the Jackson Center Tigers. Unfortunately, they just couldn't overcome it. Uh, Gels did a nice job in setting that tone. Uh, just without me and Camp this year, one of their, who would be one of their main hitters in this offense. St. Henry's did a nice job, and they find themselves one game away from winning their 15th regional in program history. This is a program rich tradition. Uh, you haven't heard, my, I mean, it seems like New, you know, New Bremen has been really big the past couple of years and how good they've been. Uh, St. Henry has been just so close. They've been knocking at the door, knocking at the door. Uh, they just you know, run into the New Bremen's, they run into the New Knoxville's, but St. Henry is now saying this is their time right here, and they have, they are going to be most likely the favorite in whoever they play, Rushi or Fort Laramie Saturday, uh, just with beating Fort Laramie in the regular season and Rushi as well, so they'll be the favorite uh, no matter who they play, and Coach Trisha Rosenbeck's squad played a real nice game here tonight. St. Henry, as you said, Brandon, will play the winner of the Fort Laramie Rushi game Saturday here at Northmont at 2 o'clock, and our player of the game all brought to you by N. K. Telco. We'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's game. Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winners Meats, Sydney Allglaze, Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA, and NK Telco. Follow WCSM AM 1350, 96.7 FM, and their internet exclusive games on WCSMRadio.com all season. Your sports leader in Mercer and Allglaze counties. I'd like to thank these sponsors as well. Five Star Recruitment Sponsor, Crown Equipment Corporation, MVP Sponsor, Sponsors, Clope and Niedek Minster. Scoreboard, First National Bank. Keys to the game, Keyhole Pizza. Replays, Winners Meets. Starting lineup, Sydney Allglaze Audiology. Our timeout sponsor, Precision Strip. Stats and recap sponsor, Wagner's IGA. Our player of the game brought to you by NK Telco. And K Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of high school volleyball on NK Telco Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503. If you'd like to see tonight's game again, Saturday, November the 6th, 10 a.m., and Sunday, November the 7th at 5 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com. Backslash sports tournament games will be available after both teams have finished their tournament run. 
I'd like to thank our crew here tonight. Our director, Scott Robinson, on the camera, Aaron Ritter. I'm Dave Helms Center, alongside me tonight, Brandon Coberman. St. Henry moves on to the regional championship game here on NK Telco Sports.